Hope I don't crash on the way there. Finally, I was losing faith. I was losing faith in Sportsman's Warehouse, to be honest with you, man. Just cause that took, that took way too long. Let me break down to you exactly what happened, okay? So I got roped into wiring a uh, 3,500 square foot house in three days. 12 hours on the first two days and close to 15 hours on the third day, okay? And to top it all off, while I was wiring this house, I lost my Leatherman Wave Plus that I have had for years. That was given to me by a very dear friend of mine. Uh, if I'm really honest with myself, then I would say that there's a good chance that it's laying in a pocket somewhere. And I just haven't checked any of the clothes that I brought with me when I went to wire that house. All of that aside, this was a very good reason for me to purchase the Leatherman Arc. Apparently, Leatherman's most expensive multi-tool. Uh, and it was $200. $30. And babe, I know that I, I implied that I had not spent any money on it. What I did say was I blew the entire gift card that my company gave me on the knife. And both of us know that that's not a lie now because it was, it was $150 from the gift card and then it was $100 from our card. If you're just finding this out from this video and you're upset, I apologize. But it will be it'll be so worth it babe i don't think i could take the camera in there so i'll just be right back and the microphone's all tangled up hang on okay so i was gonna park in this spot where there's nobody here you know so i don't have to be all self-conscious about people watching me but this girl just parked right next to me i'm thinking like what is your problem dude like i clearly want to be in a private area Okay, well, here it is. Now, first impressions, I do not like how beat up this box is. I feel like they did not respect what's inside of it. Whatever, it doesn't matter because I'm going to throw this box away and hopefully never lose this Leatherman. Okay, so right off the bat, it looks like everything was sort of thrown inside. I don't like it. Okay, so this is pretty cool. The Leatherman Arc, well, I don't know if it's a Leatherman, it's a sheath, okay? It's made out of your very durable, what is it, nylon? The really cool thing about this thing is that it has a place to put a pen. Now that makes me very excited. Moving on. This is never going to be red unless I'm in trouble. Ooh. Now right off the bat, it seems like there's a bit missing. Yeah, I wonder if this is the bit that's actually in the Leatherman now. It feels very durable. This I am especially excited about. You have a couple of Allen type keys, hexagonal. You got your Phillips, you got your Torx. You got a really tiny screwdriver, a little big brother tiny screwdriver, and some square drives. And I'm guessing, I'm really praying I got that this bit was the one that got put in there. Anywho, ha. Huh? Okay, well, now I have a certain expectation right now. When I take this thing into my hands, I'm expecting it to weigh a certain amount. I'm expecting it to feel a certain way. And I am just pushing the suspense further and further. Because something I heard on Andrew Huberman, I believe, is that the anticipation of something we want is where we get the most dopamine. So like a true addict, right now I am snorting piles and piles of do- Let's see. My goodness. Okay. Oh man, that's very comfortable. So it does flex quite a bit. Certainly not as stiff and tight as my Leatherman Wave. Okay, so then f closing it. Oh, okay, so it like clicks closed and open. There's no tension on it at all. And now for the magnet. Okay. Just trying to see how much force it takes. Okay. And where is the magnet? Okay, so I think that these are the magnets right here. Okay. That's nice. I like it a lot. 
I like how how much more narrow it is compared to the Surge. The Surge kind of bulges out a fuzzy. And I am not some sort of a Leatherman expert, by the way. I've only owned three. This was my very first one when I thought I was really cool. It's just a wingman, but it has gotten me out of binds and it has boosted my self-esteem. So it has done its job and will continue to do so. I'm currently trying to convince my wife to put this in her purse, but I don't think she sees the value of it. Every subscriber that I get from this video will be another reason for me to tell her that she needs to have this in her purse, just in case. Let's try the knife. I've been dying to try the knife. Wow. And then how does this work? You push it off to the side. See, that's why I don't... I didn't know if I was going to like this, that you have to take this switch and that you have to push it this way in order to close it. See, it's kind of difficult to do. I know I'll get used to it after a while. It is what it is. As usual, pretty sharp blade and like right, on, right out of the box. And on this side we have scissors. Are all of these things held down by magnets? No. Okay, so it's held down by the tension of this spring. It's so it's so cool. Like if you take a really close look at this, I I'm going to take I want to take some macro shots, but take a really close look at this. Like whoever had the joy of designing this, these people had some fun, for real. The spring mechanism that holds this is is just so cool. I would have never thought of that. I don't have the I don't I don't have the brains to think about something like that. Okay, so that's the scissors. Then we have on the other side a saw. And we have the files. Sweet. And I so love that you can get all four of these things open from the outside. For example, I want my screwdriver. Gosh, man, that is so great. This may be my favorite multi-tool ever. And for me, it was 100% worth it because I got 150 bucks off. Not a lot of wiggle. Dude, that sucker's sharp. I don't know what you would use this for. Whittling, maybe? And for the other side, we have... There's this little piece that runs inside that sort of curls around the bit. I'm trying to figure out what that is. And then we have this. Oh, it's a can opener. Well, where are the strippers, then? 20? What? Oh, that's supposed to be the wire stripper right there. Well, that just goes to show you how far I didn't look into this situation. Okay, I see how you could strip a wire with that. Just kind of go around and then pull the sheathing off. Insulation off, rather. Okay, sweet. Well. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you get to have one of your very own Leathermans, if you don't already. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want more of these uh, borderline insane ramblings on. I know that I will hold this Leatherman Arc very near and dear to my heart. I will protect it at all costs. Uh, and now I have a sheath for it, which makes me very happy. And uh, I don't have very much else to say, man. I'm very happy with this. This has been a very great uh, decompression before a very difficult mock journeyman examination I'm about to take. It's going to add to my confidence. As it's sitting in the sheath on my belt, I'm going to feel as though I am more capable than I actually am. And I will pass this test, like the real one. This mock exam, I'm probably going to fail.